Hi folks, welcome back to Marie's room. We are currently reading through Marie's journal, which is a little awkward. Like but what a good friend does. Yeah, but it seems like things have gone <laughs> south, so it is probably good for us to figure out what happened. Seems potentially necessary, because yeah. Marie's been through some shit, it seems. So we don't have this page, but we do have this page. Wait, wait what was on the second page over there? I didn't read it. It's uh, like I cats, love cats and happy birthday, Mom. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be friends! Um, I feel out of place everywhere outside of this room. She said she was sorry, I know, but fuck, I feel like I'm walking on eggshells and that's not what friendship should be like, right? I feel disconnected. She did not want to be my friend. She was embarrassed. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, and that's when she broke the window. Don't ever forget. Um, oh. wait, why did, why did she break the window again? Just cause she was trying, trying to get, to get her, her attention. attention and she chucked okay. a big old rock through. Um, okay, I've calmed down a bit. The La La night she was, um, that La La night she was with Trevor. Okay. That La La night she was with Trevor. And he is such a you know, fucking... My, my favorite day of the week, La La, La, La night. night. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I just was really thrown by that. Sorry, folks. <laughs> you did, you gave me a look of like, what, what? the fuck is this? Uh, and he is such a fucking asshole. She's different when, she, uh, she's different when she's around him. Not that it makes me, it makes it all right. Is Trevor our ex-boyfriend? It looks, kind of sounds like it. Yeah, but why is his know. shirt in Marie's room? But she did not come straight over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Uh, broke my window with that damn rock. She said it would, uh, if I'd answered the call, the call of the pebbles, she wouldn't have had to throw the rock. She's been here ever since. Doesn't have anywhere else to go, really. Except for Trevor. I'm glad she'd rather, rather sleep here. Right now, as I write this, She's on the bed going over some notes from class. I like having her here, and Dad's okay with it. This hmm. is something. Some, it's a, uh, it's a, yeah. <laughs> it's like a tattoo or something. She called me her friend today. I am not a shadow person anymore. She is my friend. I have a dream that you will be my friend. <laughs> um, let's see, April 9, 2018. Kelsey is so angry at the world, like all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I get it. Uh, we all have different a different story to tell. So, as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. Uh, she just had to make it happen. Not wait for it. I told her to deal again. No drugs. The cards. Hey, we know about that. We saw the cards. Yep. Kelsey broke up with Trevor. Finally. Hey, she that can do led so to much bad. <laughs> yeah, she can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Um, of course, no one saw it happen, but he literally tore the clothes from her body. That was the ripped Ooh. shirt that we saw. Oh. Yeah, fuck. I promise not to swear, so there you go. Uh, bleep! Okay. Um, <laughs> but she's done with him now. Things can only get better. Um, April 13, so two days later. Uh, I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me. Calling me names, threatening me that if I don't let, uh, let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that. As if I've got her tied up in here. I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. This is silly, but the word threatening there has the word eat in it. And I saw the word, I just saw it as eating for a second. And I'm like, <laughs> he's eating you? <laughs> Call the cops, Trevor, stop. <laughs> I really thing. had to work out that logic in my head. It was a good story and I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. Okay. Um, today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Oh, Only five. I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it, but I can handle that if it keeps um, him away from her. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his finger across his throat Ooh. again. If he wasn't such a scary ass clown, I'd laugh, but he does scare me. I don't let Kelsey see those things. She shouldn't worry. Um, e, this goober is not- Yeah, no, he's a monster. He's not a good one at all. And he was an, a reported monster, and yet nobody and yet paid no attention. no one dealt with it. Uh, Kelsey took me, uh, took me night swimming, uh, in Mr. Jones's pool. It scared me shitless the first time, but, ah, uh, two beers and freshly picked oranges. Chill. Best night ever. Aw. That's uh, where, that's where, um, she uses a lot of the orange tape, because on the yep. front of her- mm -hmm. I don't know if it was Fred or like the inner cover, but she's been using it all over the place, yeah. which is cute. Uh, it took me forever to convince Kelsey to ride a bike because it ain't cool. Our rides are the best part of the day now. And on this day, we rode them through Mr. Jones's orange grove in broad daylight. Uh, de day by daylight. God, Jesus. Daylight. Uh, we got home with a basket full of the juiciest golden oranges. 
I didn't even think about getting Poor caught. Mr. Jones. I know. <laughs> They're really abusing their neighbor. Um, let's see. Uh, June 12, 2018. They're not listening. I tried every authority at school. I even tried the cops, but they just patted my shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized. Bump on the head didn't do her any good. Fuck. Yes. I'm swearing <laughs> again. A jar full of candy. Uh, what should I do? I wish I could tell Kelsey, but she'd go insane and get herself hurt. Or worse, go back to him. Trevor is dangerous. Mm. Uh, June 23. I know Which it's him. Which is 11 days later. Yeah. I know it's him. And there's nothing I can do. They never believe me. I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. Whoa! What did he do to your cat? No, they already said that. The, that the Trevor? Cat, cat went b- missing and they thought it was Trevor. Yeah, but like, the fact that... I didn't even think about the fact of like, he took the... Sorry, I just didn't process that before. But like, he took her cat? Yeah. That? Mmm. Okay. Or killed the cat. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I like to imagine the cat is safe in a cage somewhere. I mean, but that's not, not much all better. Just have a happy. That's ending. not much better. Is like the poor cat. But then we can punch him in the face and save our cat. You're right. Rescue like in, adventure. Like in Legally Blonde, we can use the power of the law to save our animal. Is this? Law? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I can, okay. This is June 30. Uh, I can't sit and watch. I'll I'll have to be fearless. I found this site where you can buy guns off anyone. Not that I mean to shoot anyone. It's just, I don't know what to do anymore. It's for uh, protection, you know? Isn't that what they say? Anyway, there was this guy who wanted to sell me this totally new 9mm. I'm meeting him out of town somewhere. A little shady, I admit, but with Trevor lurking around, I'll take my chances. Damn, that's really being driven to to the end to have to buy a gun. And this is the same day. This is June 30, and this is also June 30. Um, okay. Bad news. There's been another home invasion, just two blocks from here. They killed the woman this time, and the police think it's Trevor. Um, suppose it was him in our- in our house. I can't wrap my head around it. It's too big. But Kelsey says it isn't true, that Trevor is a bastard who would- uh, but would never commit such violent acts. Looking at that torn t-shirt- I think she might be in denial here. Uh, I did it. I hope I, I'm not going to regret what this. Did you do? She got the gun. Oh, she bought the gun. I okay. think. I it's guess. It's either a lock. But... Oh, that must be what's in the case. Oh, her gun? Oh, yeah. maybe so. Okay. What's that, five days later? Yeah. That doesn't fit. I was trying to see if that was the passcode. It's the date she got it. But... Nah. Um. Okay, July 7th. We need this. Beer, water, and oranges. Like so many nights before Trevor. No, I am not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. Um, he who shall not be named shall not be named. Not today. And that's all we've got. Oh no, the calm before the storm. No, there's one more, right? But we don't have it. Oh, there's we don't no have a next. next. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. There must be one other thing that we can see to update the journal. Uh, I mean, I think there's the gun in the case. But we need the number. Yeah, yeah. That she must have written down somewhere. We haven't opened these yet. Ooh. Yeah, oh. Yeah, we have. We have. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got it. I got sorry. it. Shoes? Oh. Uh, no. Where's that last missing thing? Smoking jar. TV. Not these cabinets, no. Excuse- oh. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. All right, I might have been a little jealous. Okay, she wrote it down 4th March. Yeah. So, but that's not a five-digit number. No, that's 403. Do we know when she was born? I don't think so. Let's see. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, did, you checking if that updated at all? No, it definitely didn't. I'm looking. If we have a year? Um, no, we don't have a year. I was looking for when your mom died. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, There's just something we're missing. It's probably right in front of us. Oh, the, that's how that always it always is. Oh, you know? the cursor just like barely has glossed over the right thing like seven times. Yep. Oh, Kelsey's backpack. Did we open that? Nope. I put my hand on it a couple times. Disgusting, but cheap. 
I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Okay, Kelsey, you seem kind of like a jerk. I get, I get it, but like, what did Marie do to you? She seems like she supported you. Beer bottle. Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently, they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. So that was probably used the night that... When she said we needed this. Journal updated, by the way. Oh, let's go check that out. Hey. What is new? Not yet. Still nothing on that page. Okay. There. there. Oh, it's just the... It's just the, the logo <coughs> that she drew. But well, we're getting closer. Cheers! Yeah. Um, yeah, so they must have snuck that beer and then had the oranges from, um, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jones? Jones. Mr. Jones. I'm and sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Jones. It's time. That's okay. A song. That's a song. I don't know. Mr. Jones, part two. <laughs> okay, more laptop. God, what am I missing? Um... All these clothes did we search? Picture. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Hmm. There's Bumblebee. Okay. Bike basket with the oranges. Um. We're definitely missing it because we keep finding other things we didn't. Yeah. Track on. Oh, no, definitely. I'm not, this is not me being like, oh, this is unfair. It's, I'm just, just trying need to, to figure think, it out. Yeah, where we haven't searched. Stone. Stone. Yeah, stone. And I know the papers on the left we've searched. Did you see, uh, look over the cabinets? These? Yeah, I have. Yeah? Yeah, okay. I said a moment ago that those didn't work. Oh, sorry. Kelsey's, Kelsey's phone. phone. There what? it is. Damn. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend. Free burgers from the kitchen he worked in. Sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me. And we'd get out, just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Huh. Okay. Journal updated, though. We can check that in a second. Let's see if yeah. we get one other thing. Um. I'm just trying to hug the walls to see if there's, like, anything. I've opened these the drawers. Drawer. These are the pizza boxes. She wanted to create forts. Yeah, we can't open these, can we? No. They're shoes. Ooh, sparkly shoes. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, so this is right? all Kelsey shit in At Marie's At the time, room. I didn't know where yeah. the money came from. So we know that Trevor had money from somewhere. Can you just look at... Oh, takeout menu. We've looked at it. Oh, we did? Yeah. Sorry, we've looked at a lot of stuff. Oh, that's the tamales. Okay. Yeah. And then there's a name card and the... Eatery. What is that right under the eatery? The green no, eatery. I know, I know. I'm just looking to... Green as stop. in... Food rescue. Yeah. Nope. It was a good place Get to Get out be. of here. Okay. Bike helmet. Shopping bags. Bikini. Case. Phone. Where is it? I don't know. No. Uh. You know, she, oh, fan? Is it going to blow Sometimes the it correct? Sometimes so hot. This thing wasn't doing Code. it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones' swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. Okay, no, we had clicked on that before. I'm gonna go check the journal for a moment. Yeah, 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 we can read what we just got. It's right in front of us. Of course it is. All right. Let's see. Okay. Oh, there's some stuff. Uh, all right. 
Um, March 17, 2018. You may have noticed, sweet journal, but there are less and less F words in these pages. I'm so friggin' proud. Ha. Huh. Only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window, then it's hard to keep up. Did you know that a little girl used to curse, uh, that as a little girl I used to curse abundantly? Trying to extend my vo vocabulary here. Dad thought, um, it indicated intelligence, and I guess it looked cute, um, cute up to a certain age. But he said mom hated it, so every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece that's fascinating. Get out of here, man. Go away. Get out of here. We're playing a game. We're playing a video game, Windows. We're doing important things. Um made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. Can't tell um, tell you how much that hurt every time because I'd never see it again. I think he uh, he secretly ate it. He must have rejoiced. Yup, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madman. Mad woman. Must have. And there's the shoes. Hello shoes. Oh, you know what it is? What? I think. <coughs> yeah, okay, wait a sec. Three... Nine, five, one. We're missing one. Oh, oh, interesting. Yep. She must have written it down somewhere. It's in her We're journal. Getting her whole journal. Yeah. It's okay. In her so we gotta find one more thing. One more thing. Um, I clicked on the keys already. Let's see. I don't know what that one thing could be, but you try to look at those sunglasses there. No. Hey. I wore those a lot, not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. I didn't want anyone to know. Okay. I think that's probably it. Here we go. Come on, give us another number. That five wasn't there before. Yes, it was. It was? Yep. Damn. Uh, these are the good times that make me forget. All my troubles seem so far away. Wait a minute. Is that a song? Uh, we're missing that. Whatever this is. Okay. Uh, let's keep looking. But I keep forgetting that we, we turned the record player on, right? No. Really? Oh, that'll probably help. I suppose. Maybe not. Not, not apparently. Yeah. Um, I thought so too, but it <laughs> maybe didn't we look just like get it. to hear some, some slamming tunes. There it is. La La Land. Oh, that movie was a. Was that really in front of, of us the whole time? Yep. Glad Trevor snuck us in. <laughs> that I don't movie think I was a shit piece of crap. Bucks on Damn. That. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. <laughs> Jesus. Holy shit. I, I don't know if I vibe with Kelsey, man. Nah, I'm not feeling Kelsey all that like much. like I empathize, but sheer personality-wise, Kelsey, can we chat? Be nicer to your friend. Okay, so we have three... three. Four, nine, five, one. Three, 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 four, I mean, yeah. There we go. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. 
I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration. No, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. Oh, because there was a God, second person. God, I wanted person. Trevor to yeah. stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. Oh my God, it was her. Yeah. We got caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... I what do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. So is Marie in jail? Oh, Marie's probably in jail or in holding somewhere. Are we can answer the phone. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. So, Maurice, I guess they got on fine afterwards. I guess they got together and we're just... Oh, we're packing up. Oh, that's why all the things came back. Oh. So we came back to... Pack up. <coughs> yeah, <Sorry>. to, <clears throat> to her dad's house to pack everything up. 
Oh, interesting. Okay. And so we were just reminiscing, like, this really bad time we had together. Well, it was a very bad time, but it seems like everything, like, worked out. But Trevor also, died, but... Trevor died, honestly, but, like, <laughs> this is years later and there's a kid, so, like, she still probably went to jail, but maybe self-defense, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he broke into their house. Yeah, like, shit like that. Huh. This is such an interesting story to want to tell. That is a really interesting story. Like, it's really fucked up that Trevor and, and Kelsey, oh, like, did, oh, it did just... Did that just crash? Yeah, it crashed. Well, look at that. Oh, we made it to the end of the game before it crashed. Yep, I just stopped the recording. Just Hopefully black that screen all now. works. We'll throw up yeah. a black screen now. Hey, Unreal Engine 4 crash report. All right. All right. <laughs> well, anyway, since <laughs> there's no screen to talk over now. Yeah, we'll just wrap this up we'll quickly. We'll just wrap it up quick. Fascinating little story. Super cool, and I just love seeing new developers, like, putting together something to someone who had a clear kind of image and look, and it's like... It's developers like this that have, that eventually go on to create, like, Edith Finch's and, like, Life is Strange's and, like, much bigger narrative works. And yeah. I just like knowing that there's new people on the scene, even small things like this, like, striving to create narrative works that can, like, weave together stories in such, like, interesting, cool, and interactive ways. That's how I like seeing games. And so I, it's cool seeing new people on the scene. Yeah, no, I think this was a, a lovely little work. Um, and I enjoy interactive, like... I like the these games where you um, learn the story by interacting with the environment. So, yeah. yeah. I think this was fun. All right. Sweet. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, folks. Bye.